Hi, my name is Emily, and I will be talking about the amazing trapdoor spiders and their unique ability to catch prey. So some things about the trapdoor spiders, their scientific name is the tenicity, and they're in the phylum Arthropoda, subphylum Chelicerate, class Arachnida. Trapdoor spiders live underground for most of their lives, and they are found in many warm regions some of them being Japan, Africa, South America, and North America. Some characteristics that classifies um, trapdoor spiders as in the phylum Arthropoda is that they have jointed appendages, they have an exoskeleton made of cuticle, which leads to the process of edysis, which is where they shed that outer cuticle. They are coelomates, which means that they have a true body cavity with the complete lining derived from the mesoderm, which is one of the three prime tissue layers. They have two body sections, the cephalothorax and abdomen. They have an open circulatory system, which means that their blood is not contained in vessels. It is, the blood flows throughout their body and they have a ventral nerve cord. So these trapdoor spiders are arthropods and they have one of the scariest and craziest methods of catching their prey. So as you can see on the left, there's their trap. These um, trapdoor spiders are about an inch long and they dig into the dirt about five inches deep and line their homes, their small burrows with silk. This silk is important because it helps keep the moisture in the burrow. It makes it easier for the spiders to move around in their homes. Each of these burrows are, each of those burrows have a trapdoor you can see right here. And on one side, there is a hinge made out of their silk in order for the other side to open and close. They also poke little holes on the top of their door so they can hold onto, onto the door with their legs to open and close whenever a prey comes or whenever a predator is trying to get in. They also have to camouflage the hole to make it look like it's hidden and trap animals, trap insects, so they use many resources around them, some of them being like plants, soil, moss, and even their silk. They also leave strands of sticky silk outside of their burrows and around it. So whenever insects do walk on it, they can feel the vibrations from it. So one thing that I found unusual about trapdoor spiders is their jaws and fangs are different than most common spiders. They have large jaw bases that project forward in parallel with their fangs, which are folded back side by side underneath them. So that means when they bite their prey, they have to raise the front of their bodies in order for the fangs to be positioned correctly over their prey. I would picture this as like a dagger stabbing into whatever it wants. <laughs> So common spiders, they have jaws that are vertically under them and their fangs are hinged laterally and bite crossways against each other like pinchers. So they are said to be more efficient. They are said to have a more efficient way of catching prey due to their arrangements of fangs and jaws. But trapdoor spiders also have an extra mechanism that they use by trapping their preys. So I believe that they have an, an efficient arrangement as well that's suited to their abilities. So because they are allowed to trap their prey and then bring them, bring their food into their hole and eat it in a safe area, whereas normal spiders would be eating it in the open area. Here's my work cited page. And that's it. Thank you.